Hi everyone! If you're new to this channel, I'm Phil. I came first at Cambridge University and in these videos, I share how anyone can get top grades at school and at university. So if you aren't already, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button to get the latest and ace this year. One question I see a ton is, what are the best resources for GCSE Maths? And in this short video, I'm going to show you my personal favourites. As the saying goes, it's not about what you have, but how you use it. If you have just these resources and you don't use them correctly, they would be just as bad as any other resource. So for each one, I'll tell you how you should use them as well. But first of all, what this video isn't. It's not a guide on how to study most effectively for GCSE Maths. I'm not going to cover things like revision timetabling, overcoming the cold start problem, tapering closer to exams. I've covered some revision techniques in previous videos, but let me know if you do want me to make them specifically about maths. But let's jump right in. So what are these top three resources? At the top of the list, it's got to be Maths Genie. It has loads of videos explaining each topic, practice questions, but also importantly, work solutions. But how do you use it effectively? Just going through each subject topic individually, watching every single video and memorizing their scheme of learning wouldn't be the best use of time. In fact, it's probably a waste of time doing that. And I don't even think that their videos are the best part. The best thing about Maths Genie is actually their work solutions. It's like having the mark scheme, except broken down and transformed into what you'd actually write in the real thing. When you're stumped on how to do a question, this is a super fast way to learn how to do it. I give this method 10 out of 10 for efficiency. For all of these resources, I'll link them in the description below. Number two on my list is BBC Bite Size. It covers pretty much every exam board and every topic with practice questions and topic notes for each one. It does get a bit of flex sometimes, but to be honest, I think people who bash it are using it wrong. If you use it for practice questions, then yes, I'd agree, BBC Bite Size isn't great. The questions are typically given as an end of topic test and don't really reflect what you'll get as an actual question in the final exam. But what I do love about this resource is the notes part. Essentially, if you've forgotten what a topic's about, for example, inequalities, BBC Bite Size has really concise and really clear explanations along with examples. So if you need to brush up on a topic quickly, I go here rather than watching a massive video on the whole topic, for example, on Math Genie or elsewhere on YouTube. Again, if you use BBC Bite Size for this, I'll give you 10 out of 10 for efficiency. The third resource that I'll mention is actually just your exam board. For example, Edexcel, AQA or OCR. It's probably one of the dullest, but it's important that you're familiar with it. Why? Because it'll have some of the most important general pieces of information, like when your exam is, what time, what date. I mean, if you end up missing something like that, you'll get zero. So make sure that you pay attention to when your exam actually is. It's also then going to have what topics you can be tested on, the most up-to-date information on how long you'll be given for each paper, and of course, also the latest real papers from previous years. So for example, you can go to your exam board's website and have a look at the ones from 2019, 2018, that sort of thing. The exam board's past paper section is the best place to go if you want to give yourself your own mock exam, because the look and the feel of the whole exam paper, the questions and everything will be most like what you'll actually get in the real thing this summer. Finally, EZA is of course your biggest friend here, not just for these videos, but mainly our app, which allows you literally just to take a picture of the maths question you're stuck on and get connected with somebody who can help you all for free and all via chat. It's proven to improve students' GCSE maths results by almost 15%. So that's one app that you definitely need to install on your phone right now. There is a wait list but if you join our Discord server and at or mention me saying that you heard about it from this video, then I'll send you a golden ticket. And that wraps things up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what other topics you'd like me to cover in the comments below. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.